Hello everybody, welcome back to the shop. Ten more minutes. Canopy building action, baby. Hey, guess what? Someone bought the house next door moving in. And so you can't be B1 Bob's neighbor. And you probably don't even like airplanes. <laughs> I look like an older guy. I don't know. Ain't seen them. Ain't met them. I think they just closed today. Okay, I'm gonna use my uh, 2108 resin. I've got my uh, part all on there. Had some company come over while I was doing that part all, so I couldn't make a video. But I sure I'm getting good at it. Look at it. How smooth and shiny that is. <laughs> it's ready for some resin. I'm gonna use my white resin. This is the 2103. We mix this 100 grams to 16 grams. Mix her up real good. Oh, hey, we got some pictures of the t shirts up on the website. Uh, Go check them out, b1modelproject.com, baby. And uh, they look cool, man. You guys are going to like them. <clears throat> this ain't going to take 100 grams. Let's just mix. That's 50. Yeah, it will. Go ahead and mix up a hundred. I think 75 grams would probably be alright, but that's too hard to figure the formula right. I want this formula right on the money. Just as close as I can get it. 101, so you can take a little bit out of it. 99. Now, 16 grams of this. So we just go to 116. Keep this first layer pretty thin. I found some of my rubber dots. I really want these pieces to match up perfect. So I put my rubber dots on there, you know, my uh, bumpers. Them rubber, they're like what you put on your cabinet doors. Get them at the hardware store. Man, we ain't made a mold in a long time, man. You know what I mean? Man, we want to keep this first layer pretty thin. I'm learning a lot. I learn this more and more every time I make a mold, you know? This first layer we want to keep pretty thin. This is what's hard about them dots is getting them covered without it all not wanting to sag off. It's a little bit easier to drill the holes, you know, but I didn't want to make this mold that thick. So what I'm going to do is my leftover resin I'm going to put in the refrigerator. Let it thicken up. 
when this starts to thicken up up here and go off then I'll, I'm going to come back with my resin that I put in the refrigerator and I'll paint around these dots again and then it uh sets up quick too as far as this first layer we just want to keep it thin or it's all going to run off you know And this will also keep these corners from chipping out so easy. Especially on a thin mold like we're going to do. This just, this ain't going to be a great big thick mold like I've made in the past. You know, there's nothing wrong with experimenting with a couple of, you know, you just gotta experiment till you find something that just works awesome. You know? Oh, yeah, yeah. Oh, okay. Alright. Oh, watch them big old feet. Do what, Ma? Oh yeah, I was gonna to go to the store. I got a big old pork shoulder in the oven. I was gonna smoke it, and I don't know. Nah, I ain't got time. I'll we'll have pork shoulder. And a big old salad for dinner. I was going to see like I was going to tell you guys something else too. Just that I'm chomping it to bits and fly that under cheese. Oh, I can't take it. I should have went out today, man. It ended up being a nice day. I think the wind's out of the west, but... Instead of this morning, it was going to switch to... 30 mile an hour winds out of the northeast, and it probably won't do that till the night now. She could have snuck out there by myself today. <laughs> wouldn't have been a soul out there either, man. Not at Afton. See, we, they opened up a new flying field here in town. It's the old dump. And it's grass, but... You know, for the majority of what most people fly around here, around Wichita, it's great. So, no one hardly drives all the way out to Lake Afton anymore. Now and then on the weekends. Now, I'm going to take this and I'm going to put it in the refrigerator. And uh, all this will go off and, and, and this will still be workable. So then I can come in here and get my dots and my corners a little bit better. And as soon as it warms up to room temperature, it, it'll, be, it'll be setting up. And then I won't have to put 10 coats on, I'm hoping. Oh, Sammy, you big bully. Man, I was going to tell you guys something else, too. Told you about the t-shirts. Go to the website and check them out, man. They're cool. Thank OJ5 for designing them. He said when I get back on the B1, he's going to redesign them t-shirts, too. I said, sweet. Actually, you want to know the truth about it? He uh, redesigned the B1 t-shirts first. And I said, oh, man, no, we need some Thunder Chief t-shirts. And uh, cause we ain't got no Thunder Chief t-shirts. 
Lots of people.